Hi everybody, it is Nikki. Welcome back to Musings by Nikki. Today I have a couple of quick things. I have um, the much hyped by me recently editions <laughs> uh, of journaling supplies to my shop. These are from my daughter Joy and I'll explain that in a minute. And then I also have a couple of happy mails that I've had for a minute that I have not gotten to. Um, so I know some of the things that are in them as I've just kind of like briefly opened them, but I haven't looked through them all that much. Um, but I want to start using some of the stuff. So <laughs> um, first things first though, this, so my, my 13 year old daughter Joy um, has decided that a couple of things. A, she's sad that she can't have a job like her 16 year old sister does. Like <laughs> my older daughter works at Chick-fil-A and so she makes money and gets to go have a job and Joy can't because she's 13. So she has decided that um, she's also a more artistic person like I am. She likes journal and making with me. She likes crafting and painting and that sort of stuff. So she's decided that what she would like to do is over the summer, um, her summer job is going to be creating journaling supplies or like journal making supplies to go in the shop and she will we're learning business skills through this as well um, she will get a cut of the profits from the things that she makes so we're talking about how to subtract the cost of materials but charge for you know your time and that sort of stuff and Etsy fees and all of this stuff so shipping whatever so here are the things that she is adding into the shop right now. And there are different numbers of these things available in the shop as of right now, but let's just look through what we've got. So we've got, first of all, these adorable little mason jar tags. We've got some with the stamp and some without the stamp. They're in sets of 10 tags. So you will be able to get those in the shop. These are perfect for, they're made of um, cardstock and she's put die cut them all and um, they're great little tags I just use some in my farm journals then we've got some assorted packs of card catalog cards there are 15 um, in each envelope they are various ages various type faces and fonts um, so some are more vintage some are more recent uh, so Anyway, there will be some packs of those in my shop as well. Then she has gone nutso on the coffee dyeing. So there will be packs of coffee dyed envelopes and she's making the polka dot ones. So um, there are two packs available. One of them, uh, and I've got some over here. One of them is just regular envelopes like this. And she's a really good job of coffee staining. I love the, the patina and the grunginess she gets. So she will have a pack of, um, I believe it's 10 of just the, the plain, these are white, but then they're dyed. Um, but they're a nice paper, so they're a nice weight to them. Um, so she'll have packs of 10s of those, or there's a pack that has five, sorry, I'm grabbing over to the side. There's a pack that has five of those white ones and then a set of these pastel ones, which I have some of right here. So you get a purple, a blue, a green, a yellow, and a pink. And those are polka dot coffee stained as well. Um, the one thing is they do have a piece of washi over the top of the flap here, which I kind of think is festive and fun. Um, but, but the reason that is there is because even after coffee staining, there was still some residue from the, um, like, you know, the sticky part. So you should be able to, um, of course, I'm not going to be able to get it started, but you should be able to just pull it off when you get these if you want to, although it will still be a little tacky, so you'd have to put something else there, but you should be able to pull the washi off. Um, that's just more of a protection thing, or you could leave it there and work with it and have it be fun. So those are coffee stains. So there's a pack of one of each of the colors and then five of the white ones. Then we've got these cutesy, cutesy little mini 
um, envelopes. And this is a pack of 10 of these as well. And they're polka dot coffee stained. And these are like the perfect size. These are like, you know, a gift card size. So that kind of gives you reference as to what size these are. Well, my hand is a bad example because I have tiny little mini baby hands. So <laughs> I'm not the best example right here. But they're, um, these are great. I've used some of these in my farm journals as well. And I've got some uh, other ones over there that she's done for me. And I love those. Then she made a set of, um, or several sets of these kind of grungy dyed tag sets. And I don't have any of the big ones because I think I use them um, to make my tin types. But she has die cut um, three different sizes of tags. So this large one here and then a medium and a small. And you get five of them, five of each size in the pack. And um, it's a little bundle and it comes all tied up like this. And they're, some of them are pretty grungy, but actually I really like them. I dig them and I'm kind of sad that she didn't have enough of them left over to give me some. So I <laughs> would probably have her make some more and I will have them. Um, then she's got some two different paper packs available here. So she's got um, packs of coffee stained polka dot paper and there are 20 sheets in this pack. So you can, she's got a couple of those and she's diligently working on some right now as we speak down in the kitchen. And then um, she's got some regular coffee stained paper as well. And again, she's done some dripping on it and she put some tea bags on some of them and some of them have some really cool markings on them. So she actually did a pretty good job. And I think there are a couple of packs of this available as well. So um, also she did some punching out of little tag sets. So they're just, she used some scraps and found in interesting images on the scraps and then punched them out. So with every purchase of some of our supplies, you will get a little freebie set of punch tags as well. That's the promotion. <laughs> That's the promotion. So um, like I said, there are, there's more than just this, but there are, you know, several sets of each of these available in my shop when this video is live. Um, those will be live in my shop as well. So rush on over there and get some and support a 13 year old and her dream <laughs> to be an entrepreneur. And, um, and yeah, thanks for checking that out. Okay, now to a couple of happy mails. This one, um, which I opened and I always forget that these um, fold flat so easily and then they like burst open and stuff goes everywhere. But this one is from um, my lovely friend, Emily at Emephemeris Treasures. And she has sent me some goodies in here, a bunch of fabric ruffles of hers, which I love, um, but, there is all, there's all kinds of fun stuff in here. These we already opened up because when I did open this and it burst everywhere, my girls happened to be here and they had um, no idea what these were <laughs> because, you know, they were born in 2003 and 2007. So they had no idea what these were. And so we showed, I was showing them how you can look through them, you know, in the, so the light and stuff. And uh, we quite enjoyed these. They're great. There are like nature and flowers and some scenery. They're, they're awesome. I, I wish that I could, you know, find a way to show them to the camera really well but you just see a hazy. <laughs> but anyway, there are some really like, this is some mountains and a lake and some trees. And there's some flowers. This one's a stream. They're, they're really beautiful. So um, those are super fun. So thanks, Em. Those are great. And now I have to like find creative ways to use them. I've always wanted some and I've never thought of like how to best use them. So now I have to dream up ways to use them. And then this is one of those little stamp saver, like, you know, from grocery store. Oh, this one actually has stamps in it. How fun. I have one, but it doesn't have any stamps in it. But yeah, so then, you know, you used to save the stamps. 
Well, look at that. And there's helpful information in here. Like this one tells you the birthstones and the anniversary, wedding anniversary list. Oh, gifts for the boy graduate and the, the girl graduate. One of the things you could get a girl would be a phonograph. You could get a boy a port portable typewriter. That's funny. So cool. Yeah, this is super cool. Thanks, Em. I remember my grandma saving stamps in these kind of thing. And then we've got, ooh, some of the mini CD. Okay, see, I see everybody else using these. I just cut my nails down, so like I have no nail to grab on the edge of things. And then some sort of check here. These little mini mini CD envelopes. I see so many people using these. So now I'm excited to use them. And then this is like an old safe deposit vault. This is a really old check. Wow. Check the patina on that. That is definitely getting scanned and copied. The Citizens National Bank. Cool. Emily has the best ephemera. Oh, okay. So this is like a reusable tea bag, which is awesome. But what's inside it is even cooler. I saw that she had some of these little cameo, like they're like flat back. They're not buttons. They're just embellishments. They're like little flat back cameos. Anyway, I saw she had some and was using them. Those are super cool. And then some giant flash cards, which I love. Those are division ones. Wow, those are nice and heavy too. Cool. Thank you. And then these are some on, oh, I've seen her use these. These long, they're like extra big coin envelopes. I've never seen these, but I mean, I've seen other people use them, but I've never had any. Like, I bet that's perfect for on a page of a journal, which I don't have any like, oh, well, I have over there. Yeah, those are super fun. Thank you, Emily. Those are awesome. And then look at this, y'all. A stack of fabric ribbons in all different kinds of colors. I think she finds like old fabric, old sheets, and cuts them down. And she does such a good job of making ribbons out of them. Ruffles, not ribbons, sorry. There's some extra fuzz on there. But look at that. Look how good she does her spacing. I don't know. What's your trick, Emily? Because honestly, mine never look that pretty. <laughs> mine never look that pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I love this one. And uh, look at how pretty those pinks are. And some blue. Oh, that's like um, almost like a flannel. So, oh, and then this is, oh, here, wait, here's a yellow. And then this is a big, long one. And it's super soft. Oh, I wish you guys could feel how this feels. It's super soft. And that's like, it's like a yard of fabric. Look at how perfect they are. Emily, I'm super impressed with how perfect your ruffles are. That's a ton of that though. That's really pretty. And then in the bottom, we've got some lace and it looks like maybe a wedding dress applique. Nice wide lace. Oh no, this came off of something too. Did it? No. It's like stit. It has like this extra thing here. So I bet it's supposed to go along the edge of something and that gets stitched down and not the lace though. Somehow. But that's really pretty. Nice big lace. And then look at this. That definitely came off a wedding dress or something. Big 
applique that's very pretty that'll have to go on something very special so thanks em that was super fun now i can't wait to actually start playing with those and then i also got from my friend Dee Dee, Dee, Dee fargo who ooh, oh my gosh look at that purple Dee, Dee fargo who has her oh my gosh look at the colors Okay, so she has her own, uh, she has a channel. I'm sure you guys all know who she is. If you don't, I will put her uh, information in the description box below. She's got um, an Etsy shop and uh, YouTube. Oh my gosh, and she was doing some dyeing, paper dyeing recently. Oh, this is a huge envelope. It's another big one. She was doing some dyeing recently and she was sending pictures and like look at the colors look at this blue oh that's luscious yeah like it it really is on the camera it's coming through pretty good it is really as bright and lovely as these are and i am gonna have a really hard time not hoarding oh that's so pretty not hoarding this Okay, so do you see this? Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. How do you do that, Dee Dee? I have some papers from Chantal that have that same look to them. What? What is it? What is the magic? Please do share. She says this is just for fun. This is um, some purple, some lovely lilac. Purple is my daughter's, Lizzie's favorite color. Look at this cheesecloth stained this purple color oh I don't want to pull it apart too fast I'll do that later because I don't want to but look at that how pretty is that how am I gonna not hoard that and then some fun cards oh they're just like regular stationary cards that she died and now they have a that's smart And then, oh, okay, we'll look at that later. We'll look at that last. These will be listed in her shop, she says. So there's 10 tea dyed, 10 coffee, 10 avocado, and four envelopes. Thank you, because I do not like dyeing my own paper. And if it wasn't for joy, I just pretty much order it from other people because I used to dye my own, but I don't like dyeing my own. Also, I just am completely floored that avocado makes this color. I love it. More of those big, tall envelopes. Ooh, when those go in your shop, I'll have to go look if they're in there right now because I might need to order some of those. Those are awesome. How fun for like mini journals. Oh, so many ideas. Oh, look at this beautiful dyeing too. Thanks. Oh, look at this one. The grunginess and like lace. There's definitely some lace or something on that one. Ooh. And there's avocado and some tea stained. Mmm. Sorry, I have to smell. <laughs> Am I a freak that I smell the coffee stained paper, you guys? <laughs> I just gotta smell stuff. Like I I would smell this stuff to make sure like, is it writ or is it Kool-Aid? Yeah, that's definitely not Kool-Aid because Kool-Aid stained stuff you can definitely smell. Um, and then she sent me this little mini journal. Oh, how cute. I love journals, but I especially love little mini journals. And here's part of my thing. I. I love having little things at hand. Like um, my friend Emily, or excuse me, my friend Amy um, sent me a mini one, which now I use to record my like information about my videos and stuff in. And um, I recently came up with a reason why I was wanting another 
journal and I thought I'd make myself a traveler's notebook size one, but this will be perfect for what I wanted. Um, look at that. Is this, is this uh, bird waltz? I think so. I think you love that pack, don't you? I do too. What a cute little pocket. This looks like um, Mrs. Cog image. I love this little key on here. And then this tag is, I think pieces from, bits from the kit. I love how you collaged it on there though. That's cute. So then this paper, oh, this is Bird Waltz by, um, I'm pretty sure it's Bird Waltz by uh, Blue Fern Studios. But the feel of it, if you haven't ever felt their paper, it's gorgeous. It's a really nice paper. This is a little pocket. There's a cute little flower on there. A little strips of her coffee stained or dyed. Oh, look at how bright and cheerful. <gasps> it, it's so cute. I can't tell you what my I, why I want to journal. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Just as much as these ladies um, pressure me, cr they crafty pressure me, and like they they want me to get a cinch machine. <laughs> they want to pressure me to get a cinch machine. As much as they crafty pressure me to do that stuff, then they send me things like this, and then I go, I I need this paper pack. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. I just really like it. How pretty. The colors, man. Your, the colors of your coffee staining are so gorgeous. And the paper, L little flowers on there. Thank you so much, Dee Dee. This is gorgeous. And it will totally be perfect and it's bright at the time that I was just thinking about making myself one. So thank you, thank you very much to Dee Dee and Emily for the lovely packages of stuff and for your friendship and being wonderful, lovely people. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes, guys, while I flip through that stuff. Be sure to go check out Emily's and Dee Dee's shops, which I will link below because um, a lot of the stuff that is here is, uh, they're just samples of some of the stuff that they have in their shop. I know Emily has a bunch of like antique um, and vintage ephemera in hers and um, Dee Dee now will be having all this wonderful paper in hers, which apparently she's like the queen of dying things. And then also be sure to check out my shop to uh, get yourself some of these wonderful uh, handmade journal supplies from my baby girl joy <laughs> so i am going to go put away all my pile of loveliness and fawn over it some little bit more and get started writing in this with exactly what it is that i want to write in it about and until i see you guys again next time have a wonderful morning afternoon middle of the night uh evening whatever time it is on whatever side of the planet of ours that you live on um if you are in the u.s Happy Memorial Day weekend. I uh, thank you again. I know I said this in my last one in my farm journal flip through, but I'll say it again now. Thank you all to all of our servicemen and women, uh, anybody who is in the military um, who defends our country. We salute you and we support you and we pray for you regularly. And um, to military husbands and wives and children, uh, you know, much love to you guys and thank you for your sacrifice. And um, in memorial to all the men and women who have died in service or have passed away and all of our veterans, we appreciate you and we love you and we pray for you as well. So thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, what's left of it. <laughs> and um, I will see you guys all again very soon. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.